On the last pumpkin video, I had a few people ask me to redo it so you could see my hands completely. I was recording myself, so I couldn't, um, I didn't know that it wasn't recording my hands. And then uh, when I was done and noticed that it didn't record my hands for the stem, I wasn't making any more pumpkins, so. Sorry about that, but today I have Todd recording for me. Thank you, Todd. He's nodding his head. <laughs> All right, so I'm using about three pounds of clay here. I like to do my pumpkins in three different sizes, so I usually do three pounds, two, two and a half pounds, two pounds, or one and a half pounds. Just, just want it so that your pumpkins aren't all the same. When you're throwing, you want to color in a bit as you go, so it doesn't get out of, out of control. That's as tall as I want to go, and then I'm just going to go and make the belly of the pumpkin. Oops. All right, remember to get your water out of the middle. And now you want to collar in for the stem. So the key to coloring in is you want to maintain a circle in here. Once you get a triangle or a different shape, then you're, you're gonna have problems. So just slowly work that closed. And then I do this once it's too small for my hands to go around to kind of make that shape. I'll just keep working it. I think it's closed. So once your form is closed, you can manipulate the pumpkin some because the pressure on the inside pushes back. So you can just go in and shape it how you're how you want the belly. I just use a, a metal rib. And then I also take this tool and trim as close to the bottom as I can because you're not going to be trimming it afterwards. So you want to get all the extra clay off. So this pumpkin is kind of shaping up to be a fat chubby one and I'm good with that. So once you're happy with your shape, I just take my sponge or finger and put the pumpkin lines in. 
So I always go from one side to the other just to make sure that I get it symmetrical. Get the lines even. And just around and then go in between each one. And then lastly, I'm going to pull the handle of the pumpkin. So this is kind of the same shape that I do for when I collar it, when I do the stem. And this is pretty much like if you were pulling a handle. You're just slowly squeezing as you go up. Once you're happy with that, just clean up all your water. So anything you're not happy with, just change it at this point, just because you're not going to be trimming. And then I just take that stem and I just like to curl it a little bit, like so. And then you're gonna wanna push that down. If it doesn't push down, you're just gonna poke. Either way, you have to poke a hole in it to release air. If you push down too hard, sometimes your pumpkin will just deflate on you. So I just kind of work it to where I want it all the way around. And if it does start to deflate, you can close up your hole. But remember to repoke it because it will crack if you don't have a way for that air to escape. All right, so that is it. how you do a pumpkin. I'm going to show you how to make some quick and easy pumpkins and some pumpkin earrings. Okay, I like making these pumpkins. They're so fast and so cute and they sell really good. And because they're so fast, you can sell them for fairly cheap. I usually sell them for um, $15 each. So you're just gonna roll a ball and then get a flat bottom, take a wooden rib and just make your pumpkin marks. I will take a, I haven't been watching TV for, for quite a while, but when I would watch TV, I would I would take a chunk of clay and just sit and watch TV and make some pumpkins. Then you want to make a stem. I just roll it out in my finger. And I like to just take a little bit of vinegar Score it a tiny little bit, score the stem, squish it on. If you want to make a little uh, leaf, you can. My stem cracked a little, so I just smooth those cracks out. So yeah, 
Let's do a little stem like that. That is it. How quick and easy is that? And I'm going to make a little earring. So, because you want them to match, I usually do two balls at the same time. But this time I'm just going to do one. So, a little tiny ball. Same thing. I just don't do as many pumpkin marks two less than than normal and then so that's the pumpkin squish it do a little tiny stem too much vinegar on there. Sometimes if it's too wet, then they don't like to stick either. And bend your stem. All right. My stem's kind of looking funny, but just manipulate it until you like it. All right, so that's it for the earring. I get these little nichrome wires from Timu. Super cheap, they're already formed and ready to go into your ornaments or earrings. So I just take the wire and go right in the top of the stem, like so. Yeah, that's it.